Hello there everybody and welcome back to episode 16 of my tutorial series for Dwarf Fortress. Today we're going to go into some good fun things. I want to create myself a more safe staircase into my base. We're going to make sure that whenever invaders attacking us we will have something more more safe available than this uh, direct descent into our base. At some point later in the future we might be even sealing that one completely off because, you know, to explain to you why this is so important, first of all it's a very very direct access to the enemy of course, but the other thing is if ever a fight breaks out in this vicinity and somebody gets shoved on this staircase tile, he will fall and guess what? He will fall all the way down. So the the way staircases work is if you start falling at the highest point, you'll fall down to the lowest point. And does, that does a lot of damage. And uh, a lot of people were really uh, killing off their dwarfs with situations like that without knowing that. And this is your typical uh, beginner staircase. We want to work something better today. So to get started with that, I'm going to carve my staircase down here. And the other thing we're going to do today, oh, that's, uh, that's not really a good spot, isn't it? The other thing we're going to do today is we're going to prepare ourselves to get down into the caves. Yeah, you heard me right. We're going to work our way towards the caves today. Because it's it's about time, and uh, we we really should do that. So first things first though, this is going to be the uh, safer way for our dwarfs to get down there. So we're going to stagger our staircase experience here. So well, let's put up the priorities, that's helpful. So here we we go into uh, into aquifer territory. That's a little bit uh, a little bit annoying when you go for um, when you want to go for a staggered staircase like I want to do is here, but you know it just has to. We just have to do. By now it is not that much of a big issue to uh, carve out the entire area here and replace it with walls and all these things. So it's really not that much of a big deal for us anymore. We just need to uh, we just need to stay on track with the work here. So make sure that the new staircases get dug out and uh, all those things. So when you're digging through aquifer, it's really always important to work fast and exactly know where you want to end up with your work. You know. So let's uh, wall this up and make a nice staircase out of that. I am going to work with, well, let's just pick up the next best blocks we got, eh? I would have liked it in a, uh, in a more luxurious thing, but then I was like, I don't know, I don't want to use iron and whatnot here. It sounds a little bit too over the top. By the way, we need to replenish our um, stockpiles of metal soon as well. Uh, no, metal. Um, Fuel. We need fresh fuel. <laughs> we ran out of coke almost. So I'm going to show you in a second when we're done with the staircase what I'm talking about. So all in all, this series is going a great way right now. The next big thing once we head towards the cavern, after that I will start working on the justice system. We're going to set ourselves up some nice um some nice prison cells and such. I know that sounds a little bit weird when I when I talk about nice prison cells, but you know, they gotta be happy that they got that they get the nice prison cells and not the non nice prison cells. So jokes aside, um, we're going to go here, all the way over there. Oh, whoopsie. And uh, this is now a lot, this is going to be now a lot safer than uh, what we did before, obvious reasons. So there's going to be just one tiny little problem there, and that's the staircase thing. In that situation, you need to construct a staircase upwards, but uh, right now we can't because it ain't dug out. So smoothed out the walls here where I could and replaced it where I couldn't. So this way we dug ourselves through the aquifer with ease. 
All right, so this is getting a lot better than what we had before. So I'm widening this a little bit so we can have some more traffic through here. We might be also uh, widening those staircases if we'd really want to, but that not, not that important. Okay, so we're making progress at dead end. Um, we're going to continue uh, with the next topic right away in a second, as soon as I have finished this thing here. So, there we go. So, constructing works now, because we can go upstairs now. Oh, I need two blocks. Yeah, well, whatever. Make it out of iron, then. <laughs> yeah, so much iron. The decadency of this place. So, uh, here. What's really important to check once in a while in your bars menu is the state of affairs with your coke stockpiles so as you see here we're uh, depleting that i have also made horrible work orders so let's fix these up a little bit and optimize them so these are the most important ones and there's everything okay with them so as soon as that stuff is uh, available we're refining it perfect but with the uh, ores for smelting here it's really worth saying that you just want to do that once the amount of refined coal is above a certain threshold because this way you will stop depleting the last bit of uh, the last bit of fuel just for for whatever you're doing there and uh, basically it would be worth to add that into every job that uh, uses charcoal and uh, well it, it's a little bit uh, finicky now to add that into every forging job but i made the experience that it's really worth doing this at least for your uh, large scale smelting jobs because these are just uh, such uh, they, they hog so many resources if you are not paying attention this can really drain you and um, while it ain't really dangerous or or anything in particular directly if you run out of coal it's still quite annoying for one other reason and that's the fact that you have to produce charcoal again to start refining that stuff again because you know you need coal to make coal or you need fuel to make coal i should rather say but without any fuel you can't make any coal or you can't refine that stuff and that's uh it's always a little bit annoying when that happens all right so uh oh yeah there's another uh, there's another piece of good news that i wanted to try on out so the uh comment section was uh positive about the fact that this guy's need for uh rough color is supposed to be gemstone so let's give that a try i mean i have really more than enough gemstone lying around and maybe we can save the life of this poor dwarf here who knows so we're going to make out some pirate pirate yeah, yeah okay pirate Why? it's the least valuable thing that i think i could have uh turned up there but whatever by the way how about uh here that stuff it's better isn't it so we have now some gemstone available and now we can check this out um i have this up three so we now put up the deconstruction icon here and let's see if we're going to regret that or not. If this guy is actually really looking for a gemstone, he's going to wheeze off and uh, pick that up the moment that he's going to be uh, freed there. Let's just hope that somebody does the job quite uh, quickly. Though. Yo, guys, this guy is really uh, depending on you. <laughs> Nobody's going there and freeing him from his uh, tomb there. Oh, no. So let's hope that some free dwarf will do that in a sec. Let's see. Always a uh, thing worth checking out is uh, if everybody is holding. If everybody is holding, more often than not, nothing gets done. That's just one impression that I had over the course of the time. If everybody holding is on, then... Uh, oh, he, we, we missed our opportunity. He's now melancholic. All right. If I would have done that at the beginning of the episode, nothing would have happened, but... Oh well, thing is, melancholy is the least destructive of these um, strange, is one of the least destructive of these strange moods. He's just going to die. As tragic as that is, because it's, uh, it was uh, avoidable, but well, whatever. So, next steps. 
we're also suffering from the constant demands of spiked balls from our mayor. That sounds weird. That sounds funnier than it is, but uh, we're going to make ourselves those uh, spiked balls now, again and again, because it's just that important. But I just figured if we have that many of these, we might as well use them for traps, you know? Make something out of your situation, something productive. But uh, we're going to put that on the lower end of things and since we've put up that nice little trap spiral there we're just going to set up some traps here so let's put up some weapon traps here we go and we can bring up the the, the uh, spiked iron balls here you can bring in pretty much every weapon you can store up to 10 weapons in there i just figured that every mandate will henceforth be a new weapon. I figured that would be fun. So, next step that we're going to do, um, we we can now, uh, we can now, um, let's, let's do this. So first off, I, I want to seal off this uh, this thing here. We have now a better, a better staircase and all the guides. Oh, wait a sec, no, we, it's, it's not done yet. Um, we need to, we need to open it up to the rest of the cavern, otherwise, uh, our work will be failing so here we go okay so i want to floor over that thing now so nobody gets the ill desire anymore to go downstairs here we got a better way now so here we go sealed off boom yeah our animals are starving to death and that's because our our pastures are just too tiny but i i don't find the time right now to fix that so I know a new kitten has uh, been. We're going to butcher that right away. Okay, so next step, let's get on down here and uh, think a little bit further. So here is our current uh, city area, and well, for for now this will be okay. We can expand on that. We can put up more apartments here. It's not ideal, but it'll work. Here we got our luxury uh, areas, and uh, therefore we could and should make something happen from here. Here is our barracks, and that's the point where I wanted to get towards to. So this is also pretty much the lowest area of our, of our base so far. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dig a huge corridor up there. So this is going to be the entrance to the new mine. I don't want my mining area and my opening to the caverns in any way directly connected to my main base. Some people would even go so far and go all the way up here and drill a hole into the caverns from up here and have a completely diver, um, a completely segregated uh, scenario where you have one mine directly towards the caverns and the other thing is your fortress and they're not connected in any way with another so if ever anything horrible spawns in the caverns it has to go all the way upstairs first and then above the ground through your traps and your all your fortifications and whatnot so this is a setup that's that would be for maximum security we are doing a beginner's run here so we're doing as good as we can and I don't want to overdo with any methods. I just want to explain things as uh, as we as we go on and uh, introduce things that are doable if you're quite newish to the game. So don't want to get overwhelmed by it. So that's that. We got ourselves now this uh, nice little corridor here going on. So oh, wow, there's uh, there's so much stuff again love it so let's see we're going to enable holding for everybody once more because i do like the fact when things get done fast things get done fast you know it's weird but uh thing is sim more simply said when you have a lot of holders there might be a stalling of some things sometimes but at least you can be sure that stuff gets hauled ultimately. So we got thieves in our nest. So that's uh, pretty annoying. And they're already out there. So uh, who knows what they're stealing? I don't know. But there's a good reason for us to bring up more traps in that regard. So there's a good chance that there are going to be snatchers coming soon as well. 
So we have a... Okay, I, I hope that necromancer ain't there anymore. No, he's not. Okay. I'm quite happy that I uh, that, that that I didn't notice that. This would have uh, scared me like a lot. Necromancers can be quite bad news. So let's get back down to our fortress and see. Yeah, well, looks like we have to put the the spiked iron bolts to a higher priority because our our fortresses are flooded with jobs. Okay, well then. Also, we should prepare another grave for our uh, for our friend here. He's not going to make it much longer. Oh, I don't have coffins on auto production. Let's change that. So let's go to the stone workers shop and define coffins. We want at any time at least five of them, and that's that. You could also declare what kind of stone you want to be used if you want a certain color. That's the icon to click. So, at least this time it's a bard visiting us. Jeez. So, we got ourselves an area that's nice far away from the main cluster. I have chosen this area because it is nice far away from the main cluster. Because we want to have some mining area that's nicely, uh, ni ni nice far away from the, from the base. So that if ever we do unleash something nasty, it's not going to have an easy time getting towards our dudes. So the next step I'm going to take here is I'm going to take staggered staircases. And since we know that the caverns are going to be that way, we're going to get ourselves a little bit of a uh, tunnel here. So we're, we're working ourselves towards the caverns now. Next thing, I want to have a door and a hatch you know i want to be safe as safe as possible here we go oh, i don't have hatches so let's change that as well i personally love to just uh, put up a work order for pretty much everything i notice that is missing so whenever i notice that i want to have what i want to build a hatch and it ain't done yet just put up a work order and uh, see to that all right so we're going to work with these later and here we go so we're uh, we're getting ourselves closer now to the caverns and what's really really important when you go for something like that is uh don't open up the caverns before you are able to take the adventure you know so here we're taking a staircase, as you see here, I'm browsing downstairs, so it's uh, going, it's sliding slowly towards the caverns. Okay, so let's see what will happen here. We're doing this as safe as we can. That's one thing that's really, really super important in whatever you do in Dwarf Fortress, just try to do things as safe as you can, wherever you can. It's just easy like that. All right, so now we're going all the way down, mining through bajillions of different valuable items. So we located damp stone. Now that's a little bit of, uh, of an unexpected thing, but that really doesn't matter too much. So what happened is we've uh, struck another aquifer layer, but uh, seriously, we're just going to smoothen that. So actually, I don't know if this is really aquifer, but what I do know is that smoothing those damp stones will resolve all the problems that we had. Whoopsie, I dug through two layers here like that. Ah, well, whatever, I'm okay with that. So we're now working ourselves carefully towards the bottom of this pit. And as you see there, we got the next mandate right away. And that's the thing about these mandates. You don't really get a uh, precise uh, number on how long it lasts. I need to check on the Wikipedia again. Uh, I, I, I forgot the number of, uh, of, I forgot the time. Or just fill it in into the comment section if you'd be so kind. But uh, all in all, what I'm trying to say is uh, the, the, 
mandates if you if you really don't like the stuff that you produce that you have to produce there just try to delay them as far as possible because there's just going to be the next mandate waiting for you okay so let's see i want to have now some security measures so we're going to seal off the uh the mines now properly so there we go we got a door let's see did our stone worker already produce the hatch thought so so we got ourselves here one lever that i haven't named shame on me and we have here a horse corpse that nobody is uh removing yeah strange things we need to work on that as well so uh usually let's check out if that happens it's because the uh stockpile zones are not properly reachable or not properly configured so here our defenses are trolling us a little bit i'm going to repair that but not necessarily in this episode what i want to do is i want to add in a nice little drawbridge that we can use to get in and outside of a fortress easy and we can and just slam it down shut as soon as the enemy comes on in that's going to be quite a nice thing but one thing at a time so we do have a corpse start, corpse stockpile here so it's hopefully only a matter of time until these things are are over so our liaison has come but in this situation here the thing is quite simple our our civilization here we are living on a very very easy tile and therefore it's just um yeah well we got pretty much everything we require trading with these is more or less optional because we yeah we, we literally have what we need everywhere so let's see the equipment situation is ruling itself out as you see here bit by bit every time i'm looking there's more of these items equipped that's just what i like to see okay And more high boots are getting done so technically we could now do another trade here but uh, please forgive me that i'm skipping on that because we don't really need anything practically but i would say it's always worth going for the trade and i'm really just doing this uh, because i want to speed up the tutorial series here a bit so we get ourselves some diplomacy we could now order something if we need something let's say we're going to add in some rock nuts that's that's quite nice we might need some rock nuts next time but i don't want to go deep, deeper with that so here this lever what's really nice is um to give your lever some kind of name because this way you're uh, you're going to be sure to know what the lever does because believe me when you load up your fortress two or three weeks later most likely you're going to have no clue anymore what the lever was supposed to do that you had there and uh then things get a little bit nasty i mean if it's just a harmless lever no problem but if one of those three levers are the uh, are our magma flooding uh, device or something like that you might want to know that you know it's just a uh, it's just one assumption of mine okay but being enough of that let's get down to the uh, staircases towards the caverns so what i like to do from time to time here when i'm digging th uh, towards the caverns is i like i'm going to punch a hole in here because i want to know how far i still need to go because you know we don't have much intel here and uh, we only know what we've seen so far so as we see there it seems like we got some sort of intel there but also it seems as if we have to go through i don't know 30 layers or so oh so there we go so now we've opened up another uh, another pocket here and the moment we did that we had now there was a huge notification about tons of gemstones that we found but uh mostly now we can scroll down here and see to the bottom of this pit so this is going to be quite a majestic little thing so first of all we now know that this thing has no water at the bottom and also we know that uh, we're ultimately digging or uh, on a clearing so uh if you check this out so we're right now here 
and now I'm browsing down, 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 down. And as you see here, the area we're right now, uh, we're, we're now, right now carving through is going to be opening up at some point. So let's check this out. So here we're going to leave the caverns most likely. So this is going to be quite a nice spot. Let's try to hit that spot. Let's try to hit that spot. Oh, oh okay. Let's do this again. This is a bit finicky, I, I admit. But, uh, you know, you can do quite nice things with that. So now we go all the way upstairs until we have found our mining tunnel yet again. So we were at minus 20 somewhat. So here we go. Here we are. So here we now carve our way over here. And now we know that this is going to be one piece of staircase that's somewhat safe to tunnel down all the way to the cavern area. And what's also super important here is slam down a wall to that thing. You don't want any of the cave nasties to have entrance to your base, period. So that wall is really, really important. There might be flying baddies that just use this opening as soon as they see it. So, really, that's uh, something we have to take care. There's uh, the dude already coming with a rock to seal it off. So now we can go all the way downstairs. And this is a little bit annoying to do this, but uh, I have found that there is no better and safer way to cave your way all the way down there than with staggered staircases. So let me know what you would do in that situation or if you have any better method than that. But I personally love this because now we're going to be able to carve ourselves all the way over here and we will have a, a somewhat safe area there. We could now even breach the caverns and say hi to the locals, but we're, we're not going to do that today because that's just, uh, that would be flippin' dangerous. But uh, we got ourselves a nice start there. So let's just go downstairs here till we have hit that point, the low point here. And let's press the H button again. And I want to assign that to F4. It's going to be so useful to have that. So we have now F3, the main city core, F2, our, our agricultural district, district, F1, our surface area, and F4, what's going to be our cavernous area. So this is going to be where, where things get really uh, interesting and spicy. And uh, I'm going to look forward to that. My personal recommendation, though, is uh, don't open your cavern layers ever before you have a full suit of armor, a full squad of armored and uh, well-geared dwarfs here, because it might become quite nasty. So, let's see, uh, iron footwear, let's uh, assign them high boots specifically. So for, for some very, very odd reason, sometimes they're just unable to see the, uh, the boots, and I really don't know why. But this helps, what you saw there, to just delete the old assignment and put a new assignment on top of that. So I, I delete metal footwear, and I now assign high boots. And I, I tell them to be of iron. Yes, you could also leave that less defined if you'd want to, but here's a good chance that we just don't have enough high boots yet. Let's check it out. So uh, we're uh, pre-producing tons of other things. Okay, so we got ourselves 80 migrants. The moment you have 80 people in your fortress, like I said, that's the moment when your fortress is siegeable. So uh, we're uh, we're now officially on the target list of the of the local goblins. So, let's get ourselves, uh, we need earrings, okay, let's get that done. Our dwarves are vibing hard, I like that. So, yeah, we're, we're making nice progress here, I gotta say, we're really, really making nice progress. So, we can now safely enter the caverns as soon as we have uh, established ourselves a little bit, and even better, we have a spot where we can even dig through this la layer of the caverns that's that's the best part about it so uh 
to finish this thing here today, we're going to go and, uh, well, there's two things that I want to do. So, first of all, we are going to put one hatch down there. Speaking about hatches, there was one missing here too. Alright. And now, we're going to link that baby here with all manner of different doors. So it's going to be linked with that thing. It's going to be linked with that thing. And, uh, well, we don't have the mechanisms for that yet, but it's also going to be linked with that thing. Because the thing about hatches is quite interesting. Hatches can be destroyed if you come from above, but you cannot destroy a hatch if you come from below. So that means whenever a monster will um, come through here and try to go upstairs, as soon as this hatch here is sealed, it's not going to be possible. So that's a nice safety thing. I think we put up quite as many safety things as we were humanly possible. So we found our poor um, dude died. No, died. We found that he died. So that's what I wanted to say. And, uh, well, just what happens when they can't fulfill their strange moods. Okay, so uh, what happened here? I know why this uh, job got cancelled. Mm, it's quite simple. Whoop, there. So the, the door got sealed the moment it got linked to the, uh, to the mechanism. All right, everybody. So we're going to we're going to say goodbye for today because that's just uh, whoa. I think I just opened and uh, yeah. So we're going to say goodbye for today and let that two-year-old dwarf um, pull the lever one more time. So I hope you found that helpful. We did quite a lot of uh, safety precautions today. And uh, we're going to continue in the next episode to dive deeper into those secrets. I wanted to introduce a little bit of the justice system, but I just didn't uh, come to that point today. I hope you forgive me that. But yeah, we're, we're going to introduce that in the next episode. Basically, you need justice the moment you got a mayor, so we got we better work on that. And I haven't fulfilled the other needs of that. Dude. More about that in the next episode. So drop me a comments down below. Leave me a thumbs up on that episode if you enjoyed. And of course, consider subscribing. I'd be happy if you'd give it a look. Check out the description box. There is a playlist link to the entire season here or the entire playlist of my tutorial series. And thanks for watching. See you guys next time.